going down everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman. Hope everyone's having a great friggin' day. I'm having a great day. And uh, I got another package in the mail. I got an awesome package in the mail. Um, this one actually is not from a sponsor though. This is from just, uh, he's a buddy of a buddy of a buddy who is now I guess, you know, I'll call him a buddy. I met him at Axial Fest. He's a great guy. I actually met him through uh, Elvis, the owner of Elvis RC, uh, the gentleman who makes my uh, super awesome trophy truck, the two-wheel drive super heavy all-metal trophy truck. That would be an Elvis RC trophy truck. Well, on the back of that Elvis RC trophy truck, there is a specific axle, and it is extremely beautiful, and that is a Metal Concepts RC rear axle. It is gorgeous and it is meant for trophy trucks and that is what Elvis RC uses on his trophy trucks. Um, it's part of the package deal when you buy the whole trophy truck from him. So I got those but that's not the only thing you got on or that you get when you buy those trophy trucks. You get the Metal Concepts rear axle, you get the Metal Concepts trailing arms and then you also get the Metal Concepts front A arms, the lower A arms which they work all really really well together it's a great combination very beautiful stuff um if you guys haven't seen them please watch my trophy truck videos they're awesome i know i'm bragging all right so anyways uh today i've got a package from him and the reason why i got this package is because uh, I had a little issue with my axle. Not that it's bad. There was no nothing wrong with the axle or anything like that. I am just extremely abusive. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos of my trophy trucks, uh, you'll see that I don't really go easy on them, right? And the shots that you see in the videos are only the shots that I choose to put in the videos. There's a bunch of other shots where I basically just thrash the thing and a lot of it's not even on camera i just thrash it i take it with me when i go places uh if i've got to go run errands with my wife i usually grab a trophy truck or a rock bouncer or something with a little more wheel speed because i'm probably just going to bash it real quick that's usually when i get my bashing sessions in so a lot of times i tend to bash in parking lots and uh you know on the pavement and things like that and when you've got a however many pounds it's like 12 13 14 pound truck i don't even know how much it's a really heavy trophy truck um and you're running it on the pavement with a homes hobbies xl puller pro and that thing in on 3s um you're yanking some serious torque through those wheels and through those components and what happened was i was having a nice little drift session out in the street in front of my house and i was just shredding and what i was doing was coming down locking up the brakes and it'd skid around and then i would throttle it right and it did great well then the next time i pulled it out i went out and uh i was gonna do that and i made it down and i skidded turned around and then when i went to throttle it just sat there and didn't go nowhere but i could hear it spinning so i went and picked it up flipped it over check it out and what had happened was i broke the, well, I'll just show you guys real quick. All right, so here's my trophy truck, which is beautiful, by the way. It needs some suspension tuning, though. I blew out one of my shocks the last time I drove it, too. Um, but you flip it over here, and you see this beautiful axle, beautiful trailing arms. This thing is a beast, right? Beautiful A-arms. And uh, the problem was, you see, you turn the drive shaft, and see, it turns the wheels just fine. But if you pull on this a little bit and turn the drive shaft, or just hold it, it doesn't turn anything really. Oh, or it just pops off like that. And you see what happened was, see what happened was, <laughs> you see what happened was this. If you look inside of there, I don't know if you can see that in there or not. See that pin inside of there? That pin twisted the tip right off of my uh, pinning gear. You see that there? Yeah, that there. See that? Just twisted the tip right off my pinion gear. So, I basically blew out a pinion gear. Um, so what I did was because I wanted to, uh, you know, let the guy that creates the product know that I was able to find uh, the stress point or whatever finally on his products. Um, I wrote him, asked him if it's a common thing, stuff like that, is, you know, let him know what happened. He informed me this is not a common thing. It's uh, actually very rare to have one of his pinning gears fail. So, uh, what he did was he went ahead and he shipped me out a new pinning gear, I believe, and he also shipped me out some other stuff. So, oh, let's set that aside. Let's go ahead and see what he sent.
All right. Oh, so, oh, more stickers in there still. Almost threw some stickers away. All right, so Metal Concepts RC, the art of metal crafting. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. There's some information for you if you guys want to contact him at all. Uh, and you guys can do some ordering of your own. On the back you can see some of the products there that they create. Super good looking stuff. Alright, so, set that aside. Got some cool stickers. These are the Metal Concepts stickers here. Pretty cool. And, uh, here's what he sent me. Alright, so here's your replacement painting gear. See what they look like. It's pretty good looking machine work there. They're very lightweight. That's something I didn't expect to be 100% honest with you. It's very lightweight. So uh, I'm not sure if that's because of the metal they chose or if that was on purpose or if that was, I, I honestly, I have no clue if that's why it broke maybe or if it's just for performance because having a lightweight set of gears will allow uh, quicker acceleration. You'll also have less stress on the drivetrain. So um, I'm not really sure, but I know that so far they performed great up until that point. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it another shot. We're gonna install this back in it. But he didn't just send that. He also sent a new ring gear. So I will install the new ring gear as well. That way they can break in together. Um, because I'm sure that the other ring gear was broken into that pinion gear and uh, I would want them to seat properly. So I'll go ahead and install both of these and break them in together and uh, yeah, we'll see how that does. But that's not all he sent either. He also sent this bad boy. This is the adapter for the uh, axial ring and pinion gear. So this will allow me to run the axial setup. Um, so if I want to run HD ring and pinion gear, or if, say for instance, I break this new set that he gave me and just it turns out that my truck's too heavy or I'm just, the way I'm driving it's just too abusive for that set, then I will run this and test out the axial set and see if that helps out at all, if that does any better or not. Um, I am pretty sure I won't need this. Uh, I have a feeling it was a fluke situation, but we are going to find out because I'm not going to run this until I ruin that other set. So uh, I'm very, very stoked. I'm actually really, really thankful too. That was great customer service. Um, they definitely got me taken care of right away, and their machine work is really, really spot on. I mean, that was really beautiful work there. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I wanted to kind of inform you guys what's up with the trophy truck. There is another video of it coming out though. Uh, I do have some footage from before I broke it uh, of it just ripping up the desert. So I will have some footage of it just tearing the desert up really, really soon. Anyways, you guys, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to pop in and show you these awesome products. Uh, Metal Concepts RC. Here's their info one more time if you guys want to check them out. Uh, super stoked, man. They're, they're really good people. I hung out with them for a little bit while I was at Axial Fest. Got to hang out with them during the uh, concourse. So uh, it was really cool. See, his uh, products actually took first place because Elvis RC won first in the concourse with his trophy truck, which featured some Metal Concepts parts. So shout out to Elvis RC. Shout out to Metal Concepts. And uh, thank you guys very much for getting me taken care of. And I'm going to go ahead and get those installed because I cannot wait to run this truck again. It's by far one of my favorite trucks to drive right now. So, all right, you guys, you know what it is. Hopefully I'm going to see somebody out on the trail. Till next time, peace and chicken grease.